Let's take a look at the headlines. BNFT this morning says, banks can't be blamed. Dr. Chiahine, for wide gap between lending policy rates. Also, B5 plus bags, 30 awards in nine months. And excess liquidity, investor appetite, dry fixed income market performance. Also, GRA is set to commence night operations to collect taxes something that we've been talking about for many 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 months we're asking that does a smart city sleep also zoom lion trains 51 women in heavy duty truck driving the daily guide is our next one what does it say it says first sky awarded a sikuma have road project mahama is a disaster nana jabs bobia tongs and police pick up self confessed killer Taxi driver. President cuts sword for phase two. You has expansion and also core construction rewarded for their efforts. The Finder newspaper aquaculture production increased to 64,004 metric tons in 2020. That's how Kumsin's photo there. She was the one we were talking about a while ago. Government committed to improving literacy to overcome learning poverty. According to Reverend John in Tim Forjo, MP for Asin South, and 650% hike in shipping costs from Asia to blame uh, rising building material prices, according to Dr. Baumia. And also 60 million US dollars you has faced two projects takes off it will include africa's biggest school of nursing and midwifery according to nana adudankwa ekufuado also core construction wins overall best general company awards daily graphic help strengthen private universities professor omani np is urging the government and 68 million us dollars project for you has takes off president there cutting so and uh, also Busunu Tachali Bridge still inaccessible. What's on the front page of the Herald? It says mobile money customer sues MTN for allowing third party withdrawal. Also, Chief Justice's wife named an abuse of office lawsuits against him, uh, grabs Kenyatia shops with husband's name, uses complimentary card bearing Mrs. Chief Justice. Wow. Government's family and friend share agenda 111 contracts and procurement law laws have been breached. I wish that they would give one of the hospitals to the prison service. 37 military hospital in another medical negligence. And last week we brought you that conversation. Well, Republic Press says uh, man 42 gets 18 months for fingering minor in a public toilet. Stay away from our dog meat. It's part of our culture. NDC MP to animal rights activists. And that's uh, Dr. Clement Apak. Uh, he's a doggist. He likes to eat dog with a little brukutu or something like that. NDC MP cheats death in gory accident. Two uh, injured, one is dead. Police grab self-acclaimed ritual murder and one dead, 10 injured in a crack Cape Coast highway accident. Our final one is the Ghanaian Times. Whole community SHS abandoned? That's a question that they're asking. And 24-unit classroom dormitory blocks with self staff uh, left in the, in the wild. And also, deep hints of passage of law to promote construction sec sector. And uh, core construction wins overall best general company awards. Police arrest cop of a stolen motorcycle, AK-47 assault rifle in King Tampo. That is the, uh, those are the headlines on our front pages this morning. And uh, we're happy to have all of you join us and watch. Today is also a very, very, very special day for two of my very, very favorite people. And I should like to share their names with you uh, today. Asida, Asida and Sergey, it is your birthday today. Happy birthday to you, my little girl. And I wish you long life and prosperity. Asida and Sergey, it is your birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Also to 
Madame Beatrice Clotting. You are 72 today, 72 strong and young. Happy birthday to you. Also to you, Mrs. Florence Otukote, your midwife at the Jamestown Maternity. It is your birthday today. Happy birthday. If it's your birthday as well, happy birthday to you. I'll introduce my guest to you shortly, but I have two minutes and I'll share this with you. Danny, play the video, please, for me and take a look at this video. So this is a video that somebody sent to us. This is supposed to be the AMA's office complex that they had in mind, envisaged some time ago. It transcends uh, Oko Vanderboy, it transcends Ajir Blanksin, it comes to Ajay Soa. This is the AMA's own building, you see? So you see young people entering there. It's become a safe haven for we smokers, People are having indiscriminate sex there. And that's the, the, the thing they're telling us. Indiscriminate sex is a wee joint. People are smoking, young people up there. And the person who took that video was very, very detailed. Very, very detailed. And it, it's terrible how an office complex that was envisaged to manage the affairs of the Accra Metropolitan Assembly has now become a safe having for all manner of criminals, all manner of weed smokers, all manner of rubbish, because that's where also you saw the Zoom Lion uh, apparatus there. That's the Church of Pentecost, by the way. That's not part of what we're talking about. But this is it. The building you see there, and it's not been used for donkey years. Not been used at all for donkey years. And this morning, I want to say a very big, big, big good morning to Honorable Dan Butcher, my own uncle, uh, good morning to you, sir. This is within your sector. Good morning to you, Nia Jesua. You see the baller there? Let's show them. Don't show my face. Show the video. The video is what I want people to see. You see how the baller is gathered there? There used to be a public toilet there. Now, the public toilet was demolished to pave way for this building. This building has been there for donkey years. Nobody is using it. The AMA continues to rent offices for its sub-metros to use. That's the shame. The AMA which my mother worked for for more than 40 years of her life, still uses rented apartments for most of its offices. Before Nima, Ayawasu East, West, and the rest were carved out of the AMA, the AMA still rents offices. Now the AMA, show the video again. The AMA puts money, you and I, our money, into that building. Please show the video again. You and I, our monies, is what was, was used for this particular building. I'm saying it goes beyond Dr. Oko Van der Poy, goes beyond Nia J. Blancing, goes beyond Ajesua. All of them have been mayors with this one happening. And though that this building is still there, I'm told that there's a structural defect, it's gathering water at the bottom, and the people go there to smoke weed. You should see if you had your daughter, 14, 15, 16 year old. 14, 15, 16 year olds who are taken up into this place and, and, and then, then they, are, they are sexed up. They smoke weed and they are sexed up. It's, it's a major thing. Somebody sent it to me yesterday and they said, Oh, fine, wow. And yesterday, I was so impressed that the assemblyman for the area, Honorable, how, how are you? He was fixing street lights. I met him at vantage point. But yesterday, somebody sent it. Said, no, but who no one in car cash is anima sending in a marble. So your AMA building, which is at near the Kaneshi Pentecost, it has become a wee heaven. It has become a place of, if you like, prostitution. And children's lives are being affected. This morning, I want to greet you, Honorable Dan Botri, and Honorable Nia Jesua. I know you are capable. I want to also greet you, Honorable Henry Quarte. You are, you are doing a very, very good job. But this one, you must fix it. I beg you. Please fix it. You see, they are in there. They are smoking weed. Come now, weed. Good morning. Honorable Inusa Fuseni is, Fuseni, sir, sorry, is a member of parliament, former member of parliament for the Okaikwe North constituency. <laughs> Forgive me. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> Very well. Let me not go to you, but... Because no, no, I feel it. Yeah, he... It's not good. 
Hey, 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 hey. It's not good. Yesterday, when they sent me the thing, I grew up in Kanishi. Right. So when they sent me the thing, I, I, I felt so bad about it. I, and I couldn't think of it. I couldn't believe it. Because I've seen the assembly office in your corner. It's a very nice, world, sweet place. <laughs> so how is it that then this one is there and we are not using it? Good morning to you, morning, Johnny, morning. and good morning, morning, to, morning your, to, your, to your viewers. Yes, sir. And uh, good morning to the good people of Ukraine North. Mm -hmm. um, especially for the newly created municipalities right. and district. I am aware mm -hmm. um, that for a municipal office like that of Ukraine mm -hmm. North, we are putting up an ultra modern um, mm -hmm. building somewhere in Achimota mm -hmm. to, to, to house the assembly. Okay. Um, as to how this um, particular building has been has been in the state for, like you said, donkey years. We are not too sure when it commenced, and but I I, I should think that I'm um, with the with whatever arrangements they got in. Um, mm -hmm. I I hear it started from um, Ajiri Blanson's right. time when That's the right. hotel area, which used to be a lorry park, was yeah, cleared, yeah. and they got into those agreements. It's and actually got a, it was a public toilet. Okay, That's what was there. That was, that so, was I mean, there. I grew up in Kanish, so that used to be a public toilet. Mm. Those who live in Kanish call it Atamusa. Okay. Because there was an Atamusa who lived close to it. <laughs> so it's called Atamusa. <laughs> and then at some point, they sell, they sold charcoal, the public toilet, that kind of, mm. you know, steez. And then they broke it down, raised this one. Mm. And so everybody was excited that, oh. It looks, it looks a very old building. It and does. It's probably, probably it's a mess, huh? Yes. Era or yes. Because uh, that, that's what I'm mentioning yeah. all the mayors because so they are all guilty. We 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 are not too sure, but I'm I'm sure that once the issue has been brought to the attention of the media and um, this morning with the with the sort of um, greetings we have sent to the <laughs> minister for local government, the mm. regional minister and the mayor, mm. I am sure that uh, something will be done. Right. Unless um, if if the structure has a defect, I mm. mean it shouldn't be there because it it endangers people yeah. in in the area, and if people are still getting in and out of it. It, 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 it's something that we have to deal with. We don't have to wait mm. uh, for something to happen before we come and sit on the media and, and, and say all sort of condolences. You, you have to we see the, have to the young to girls, very beautiful young girls who have been taken up to the top so just so they can have sex with them and smoke weed. This is an eyewitness account. People, somebody who lives close who is telling me this one and sent the video. I, yeah. I, I saw some of them, I, and I couldn't show some of the faces because I do not want to Certainly. show people's faces. But Certainly. the videos that the person sent me was very graphic, and I was so sad. I said, mm. ah, not be, ne? And, and especially when the assemblyman is in the know or he was in the... The assemblyman place. actually was fixing light in front. There's another video with the assemblyman fixing light. Yeah, no, no, I've seen, I've seen somebody fixing a street light. So you see the, you see yeah. the girls? Um, so that's the assemblyman there. Okay. He's on the right. He's fixing okay. lights. He's doing a very good job. Okay. Fixing lights. But and that, I met that. him at four different locations at Kanishi. Mm. Fixing lights yesterday. Mm. Then somebody says, oh, as soon as I left, the action started. I'm sure, I'm sure, okay, there, there, there are also some state agencies, um, the police, right. also, especially Dove's too, who could also attend to those issues. So, well, it's 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 good that at least we it's it's come to the mm. attention of of, of 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 the media, and once the media is taking the issue mm. up, I, I expect I can, we'll take some prompt action to right. forestall um, those um, uh, whatever has been alleged that happens mm. there. It's 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 kind of okay. So and this good. is not the only only case. I'm sure there are other there are other ones. But, but the today we want to country. focus on this one. Good morning so to let's, you, let's, let's, uh, yeah. Kaneshi Police Commander. Morning, sir. Your own boy, sir. Good morning to you. <laughs> I know that after you demolish the, the, what they call the Gulf at Kanishi, the people have migrated to this place. And I'm telling you on authority that they smoke weed there and they have sex with the girls up there. Please show the video, last one, before we get into the issues. They smoke weed there. They get up there. It's supposed to be an office for the Accra Metropolitan Assembly. Maybe the AMA has forgotten suddenly about this because now they have an ultramodern building in the octagon. But this is supposed to be, you see the girls going up there. They are going up there. What are they going to do there in an uncompleted building? 
What are the girls going to do in an uncompleted building? And people have made it their homes. Zoom Lion has some baller center there. So, Commander Atkanesh, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Honorable Damboche. Good morning to you, Honorable Henry Quarte. Good morning to you, Honorable uh, Nia Jesua. Good morning. I'm greeting all of you. Just, I'm not saying it. I'm just greeting you. That this is supposed to be for you. And you have left it. Good morning to you. If you have Rambo style, take it there. Good morning. Honorable, so uh, MMDCs have been vetted. Short listing has been done. I've seen a list circulating saying that, oh, these people are likely to be made MMDCs. But the key question is that, when is the list coming out? When are we nominating for the people, the assembly to have two thirds power to endorse them? Um, Johnny, uh, the, 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 to, my, to my, the best of my knowledge, assemblies are still working. Okay. Um, in, my, in my municipality, for instance, the, MC is still in office. Um, he, he does what he and uh, MC is supposed to to do, mm. and um, we 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 know that the uh, processes of um, uh, either appointing new ones mm. or reappointing most of them is is has been in the often for a while. Um, it's 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 obvious that um, in selecting MMDCs um, mm. for 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 you to get it right, there are a lot of consultations that has to happen. Traditional authorities, stakeholders within the municipalities, find the best fit, and because the MC is 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 supposed to be the the, the rep of the president within mm. the municipality or within the district or within the metropolitan area, okay. uh, careful considerations will have always have to be to to be done, and these processes have been ongoing, and we we have assurances from. Um, the president himself is mentioned it in, in some, some, some forums mm. that by the end of this month he yes. is certain that this appointment will come, that the list is going to come out so we can go on with either the, 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 the assembly also has some other processes that they have to, to do one, once the list come up. So it's, it's, it's the second week in September. I'm sure in the next week or two. We should, we should be there. To, when you say the MMDCs are working, uh, we remember the letter that the chief of staff wrote mm. earlier in January asking them to act, but also saying that you cannot take major policy decisions mm. in finance, certain financial mm. decisions. Mm. We all know how the assemblies function. Without mm. policy and finance, mm. you are dead. You're a finance person. <laughs> now, the chief of staff was very specific. So if you go contrary to that, you will face the law. That's the first one. The second one is that when you say the MMDCs are acting, is that I've read Act 936 back and forth. I did not, for example, see where they will be acting because after the committees take a decision, they bring it to the ESCO, which is chaired by the MMDC, and then they bring it to the General Assembly, they take a decision, and then they come back to implement. If you're asking them not to take major policy decisions, what are they going to implement? The, it's, it's, it's not a case of always taking a major policy decisions by the assembly. And, and, and I'm sure that um, the, the, the law itself did not envisage a situation like this. But the, the MC is still in office. Day-to-day mm. -day running on assembly takes place. People go to work when you have Whatever issues you have, the sanitation people are working. That, that's the, all, that's the, all my the question. My question I'm working. sure you understood my question. The, the, the having been part everyone, of the assembly, else is working. having been part so, of the assembly, so, I'm asking you. So it's, it's a matter of regarding us, Act Nine Three Six. It's, it's a matter of fact. I, I I also I also did make a point okay. that um, and I'm saying as that, a nation, as a nation, oh, oh, to even the slow, situation. No, slow down for me. <laughs> I'm asking you a question per Act Nine Three Six, and I'm saying that you have had the benefit of being part of the General Assembly, even though you as an MP cannot vote at the General Assembly, a pair at 936. That's right. And I'm saying that the committees, all the Assembly members will have a meeting. They decide on what happens. Then there's an exco executive committee, chaired by the mayor mm. or DC, mm. and then they will take those decisions to the General Assembly.
Mm. When the General Assembly agrees, they will have to come back and implement. Mm -hmm. The Chief of Staff's letter that they wrote in January says, go and act, but don't take major policy or financial situation. So I'm saying that today, how is work then going on? See, this at, scenario the, at, the, at, the, at the point of the General Assembly passing the budget for this year, right. which happened last year, mm. at the point of them passing the budget, I mean, the commitment and everything has been, has been approved. So the next stage is the implementation process. Right. So you will not have to start a new and they have uh, policy or implementation. New policy decision. No, it meant new policies, but okay. not policies that had been approved of. Okay. In the, in the last year for the ensuing year. So the assemblies, uh, technically, there is no break. Technically, there is no break. Are you because, sure? oh, that's, that's what I'm explaining to you. Are you last sure? year, they passed the budget mm -hmm. for 2021. Every policy, being it revenue generation, being it um, whatever major policy the assembly had, had was, was part of that, that process. Mm -hmm. So once it's been passed, and agreed by the assembly that this is what we are going to do in the ensuing year, which is 2021. Nothing bars the assembly from running it. More and more so, the spending officer at the assembly, it is not the MC or the DC, it is the um, coordinating director. Okay. And all the co coordinating directors are, are, are in office. Mm. So <laughs> there, there, there is no um, um, technical break within the, 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 the assembly, mm. right? Mm. So things are actually happening work is happening and and within the next week or two we will be there and then and then all those you, all those you know be, that be, uh, mmdc's yeah. are um article 71 holders is that correct mmdc's they are te article 71 holders i i think so yes now so now they are being asked to act and they will take ex gratia the nine months that they have acted, would they add it to their ex gratia from the four after the four years? I, 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 I am not too sure, but I think that um, this this issue of ex gratia, I am also not too sure where you're taking this. This, this no, no, the this, article this 71 holders. Let's look yes, at fine. those who are taking given, given holders. Given that the article 71 office holders, it is, it is, it is, it is obvious that um, the, 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 the law states that. For every number, for given a number of years that you've been in office, a certain number of months should be given as a honorarium or something of the sort. Right. And if so, if that that be, why not? If he's acting and you expect him to go to office from morning to tonight to perform his duties, I'm sure that he'll be he'll be do whatever whatever. So they'll take two as Gracia because they have why done would, their four why years. Why would it be two? Well, they most of them years. most of them most of them were 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 in office for just a couple of uh, years in my my place, for instance. Assembly was actually created, I think, 2019. So it is not a matter of getting more than four years. They have not been in office for more than four years. And this, I'm given a week or two, mm -hmm. we, should, we, should, we, should be, we should be done. Your party's general secretary, Mr. John Boyd, who had mentioned to us, all of us, mm. that one week after the president returns from Germany, mm. the president will make the announcement. Mm. It has been two weeks. Johnny, the president I, I has not made the announcement. Did John Boyd lie? I, I mentioned earlier that mm. um, to be able to arrive at the right person who is capable and can run the assembly no, you are, you effectively are not and efficiently, question. there is you, a you, lot of consultation. You are my big brother. You are not answering you my question. Might, you, might, you, might, you might envisage that, look, within three days, I'm going to finish these negotiations. I'm going to meet all the stakeholders. We're going to come to an agreement. You go to the table. Th issues come up. You are not answering issues my Issues come question. up. You are not Which one would you question. prefer? Us taking a bit longer time to get the right people in place mm. to run assemblies or rushing to I'm get the wrong people. Your party to general do, uh, secretary, Mr. I, John I, Boyd, I, I, I heard you mentioned to us that I heard your question. one week after the president returns from Germany, mm -hmm. he will make an announcement. It has been two weeks. Did John Boyd will lie? Johnny, I, I heard your question. It is it is not a matter of lying. If I told you that look, we're going to do this thing in three days and then something comes up. And we are unable what, to do it in three days. And we go what into, came up? You never know. <coughs> That's what I was telling you, that cons mm. even consultation with the traditional authorities, you know the traditional authorities are very important um, 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 stakeholders right. within the assemblies. And sometimes you go to certain areas where there are um, <laughs> very different um, 
stakeholders that you have to deal with. If you go to the table and negotiate in who gets this appointment or who is a suitable candidate to be to be to be to be appointed by the president to go to assembly for his um, 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 the, the, the the assembly to approve of the appointment. I mean, things happen. But is that it, not it why you did that, the vetting? It could happen that oh, the vet, the vet. That's why the vetting was not just one person. They have a, a list. Mm -hmm. So the vetting comes off the list, and from the list, an appro uh, one one person is actually selected and presented to the assembly for, for a, so it, it's a process. I think I think that we have, we we, we, we have come very far with the process. We're mm -hmm. almost there. Mm -hmm. The next week or two, I I, w I wouldn't want you to quote me that I, I sat here <laughs> saying the next week or two and the process. No, you it are is a saying process. your matter. It is it is a process. <laughs> uh, you know, and and as negotiations go go on, I I yeah, we've seen certain things on the media and uh, mm -hmm. as whether it's a final list or not. Right. Yeah, I'm sure that in the next couple of days, mm. days, I, days. I, I said days. No weeks, days. Couple of days. It we could should, be we eternity. Should, we, should, eh? we, should, we, should, we, should, we should be there. I mean, I mean, as government. I, I, I will ask you a final there. question. Before I come to uh, Mohammed Abdulaziz, who is a former member of Parliament for Mion constituency up north. So they have been asked to act. You know that as a former MP, you sit also in the General Assembly, even though you don't have voting rights. That's right. Now. If the president's nominee fails to get the note for three times, it has to be changed yes. for another bond to come back That's at right. 936. That's right. Now, what if the president is trying to push people down the throats of his, the people? Because... What if? What if? I'm I don't understand your what if. You're, you're speculating now. No, I'm saying, I'm asking you what if is a question. But yes, it is what if the president, knowing full well that, oh, I have to get to test majority for these people, mm. and the people may not give him the nod, so go and act. Then he could be there for four years. Is that what you are doing? No, I, 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 I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy that you, even you are you are saying that there's some report or something out there. Right. That, and you know, the processes have been have been happening, and we can we cannot assume. I no, mean, nine, if somebody is there, months. if somebody is there, and we we want a, there, there's always a way to to go around it. Mm -hmm. I mean. It's 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 a it's not it it cannot be the reason why we 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 we, we, we are not uh, I hear you. A finalist. <coughs> Mo, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Johnny. I'm good. You look sharp. Thank you. You are competing with uh, Hussein. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's the case. Hussein is a friend, uh, brother. God, Hussein comes here and is very good African I know, prince. I know. Which is... you are, you are, now you are beginning to compete with him. Yeah. <laughs> Well, MMDC is, so uh, we have been told that let's wait, it will come, the list will come. Um, Fuseni says work is not being stored at the local level because the spending officer, for example, is the MCD, work is happening. What do you know? Um, good morning to you, good morning to my friend and brother, and good morning to our viewers. Um, the issue of local governance is a very important issue. I mean, we should not be engaged in the usual... Uh, partisan discussion of some of these issues because the um, local assembly, the um, DCs mm -hmm. or the MMDCs are responsible for development at the local level. They represent the president at mm -hmm. the local level. And so you cannot underestimate the role that, that, that they play, either in terms of uh, policy implementation right. or infrastructure or any kind of uh, um, a development. Right. Now, currently, as it stands, it is the president who has to nominate a candidate. Mm -hmm. For the assembly members to approve and the or president otherwise. said he's doing consultation exactly cons building consensus exactly that is the current uh, arrangement that we have in the right. country we're all aware that some attempts had been made in the past by the by the government to get them elected on partisan basis mm. um, that the, the um, party shut it down we believe that was not a um, good way to go our mm. country is so uh, polarized we cannot um, um, engage in that partisan mm. uh, uh, activities even at the local level because you see what most people don't know is that it was not just the election of, of the MMDCs at the at the um, on party basis okay it was also going to include assemblymen and even new committee members mm. and so you can imagine the level of partisanship that mm. has characterized our national uh, governance if we're going to extend that one to our local level to include MMDCs to include assemblymen and uh, unit committee members, 
uh, would have been heading towards uh, the government's day, argument is that it's already happening. So no, why but, don't but, you no, legitimize no, it? But, but but on a more serious note, on, on a more serious note, we thought that um, that was not going to be good for this country, and so we were we were all for the election of the MMDCs, but not on partisan basis. And um, well, why they, they 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 retreated? Only God knows. If we believe that that wasn't a good way to go, and the governor was. Um, uh, interested in seeing it through, they could have still gone ahead with the with the with the with the referendum. Now, President Akufuado, whether you like it or not, has failed the people of this country in respect of the appointment of uh, MMDC. Why do you say that? He said he's building he, consensus. He wants to be, be sure he's giving you the right mm, candidates to handle the matter. Why do you Johnny, say this is a president who has handed over him to himself? He's not a new president. He. He's been around for, for five years now. It's not as if he had just one power. Um, he knows his party men. He mm. had MMDCs in place for the last four years that he was in office. And so the, 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 the story that they are still going through the process cannot be, cannot be a good one. Mm. Um, we think that he has failed in that, in that regard. If the president has any regard and respect mm. for local uh, governance, he would not be doing what, what he's doing. Um, they have indicated that... Um, um, policy implementation and development is not a compromise at the local level. Yes. That cannot be true because, for instance, you are aware for saying that the MMDCs are the heads of the security uh, institutions at the, right. at, the, at the local level. Rex, uh, and so, the music, uh, dissect, and, dissect, and music, yeah. and what have you. And so, if you don't have a substantive MMDC in place, what happens to the issue of security? The, there no, is still, there's still this, somebody there. You've told them. You've who, told who, them. Who to, listen. You've told them not to take. Place. You've told them not to take actions that border policy, on policy. Policy issues are not oh. taken at the uh, district. Or, uh, <laughs> they take policy issues at, at, at the local I mean, level. I mean, come they do. Come on. Listen, they come do. On, and so what I'm saying is come that, on, please. What I'm saying is that he has filled the people of this country in respect of the appointment of MMDCs. You see, are you not that function? This much? That function is a shared one. Mm -hmm. When you say that they should go and act, they they. Those whose tenure has expired should act. You are violating the constitution and you are also disrespecting at the ninth time. Listen, oh my brother, just take well, your time okay, and I mean I'll come to you. Now when you when oh. you mention my name as this, then, then you, you give me that you know I'm sure you, I'm sure to you, so I'm always tempted to I'm sure you'll have your to, to actually respond to have that a you 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 have a second <laughs> You see, it is it is it is a shared responsibility. Mm. It is a shared function that the president would nominate right. and the assemblymen within that uh, jurisdiction to, to would test confirm, to test and confirm. And voting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, when you take that upon yourself mm -hmm. to ignore the assemblymen and just ask your, your MMDCs to, to continue to be in office, they could be in office for four years. Remember, but those in no. office have been, have been actually, um, 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 uh, they've gone through the process. Who? Cool. Those currently in office. For the four but years that they, they were nominated. Approved. You they see, at the end the of the four time. years, yeah. your tenure expires. And so you cannot argue that because they were, they were, they were nominated and passed by the assemblies in 2017, Do it should automatically that mean that... Is, oh, for saying... No, no, no. Uh, yeah, just, oh, just, to, just to enrich it. Right. Yeah, just to enrich it. I'm sure yes, you'll have yes. a second a second. Yeah, just no, to enrich it. Do you know that at the President Mills, it happened? So you see, that's, well, that's so, MPP for so you. So President Mills. No, no, I am not saying. I am not saying. I, I, I am agree, not saying. I agree I with you, that. but President Mills asked them to continue to stay in office. He didn't ask them to act. That's the distinction. Uh, President Akufuado is acting. asking them. To, what is the distinction? I, I legally, I don't get to the. Did they not get to stay in office? Did, and, they, and, did they not get to test majority? Of the assembly present and voting, endorsing them where President Mills asked them to act. No, You'd have raised I, questions. I, 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 don't, I don't think they went through that no, no, no. process. I, it's it's not about what you think, it's about what happened. Did, did they? They did. Did they not? I'm, I'm, not, too, okay. I'm not too sure. Now, in this particular case, mm -hmm. you are asking people to act mm -hmm. for nine months. If the assembly members no, have they were not, asked to act, but to not act for nine months. But nobody There's changed them because President Mills <laughs> wanted to. They were asked to act. Yes. They were not asked to act for nine months. Okay. Maybe we didn't envisage the, the process was the, going to be this. I'm way. saying that, President Mills. Unfortunately, what process? Unfortunately, what process? unfortunately, this is where we are. What process? All we are saying is that they okay. are still in office. They are still in office. They are working. A spending officer 
the coordinating director for the various assemblies are in office, whatever they needs to be done at the assembly today, if you walk into a country and, 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 and I'm asking you, assembly. And I'm asking you, for all the business operation permits, property rates, market tools that they collect, yes. are they spending? Because they've been told the not to take... The spending officer is a municipal uh, coordinator. So what does the uh, MMDC go to work to do that? He is, is the a political head of the place. Are you sure? So he That's takes it. he takes policy decisions. If you have to take a check from the assembly, as is knows, as is knows, it yeah. is not the MC who signs. Right. But, but, but you see, Fusin, you are not being fair here. It is a coordinating director. Can, okay. can, 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 can the coordinating director the, 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 the come on? Can the I'm director? Going. Can the, the director spending issue officer is a the coordinator without the approval of the DC? I said the spending oh, officer. I've just no, no, no. He has asked you a question. Can anybody go through the process of issuing a check to anybody? Mm? Mm. Without the approval of the DC. But the reality is that the MC is still in office. <laughs> you have not answered this question. The MC is still in office. You have not answered the question. If, if, if there was a vacuum, there was a lacuna, Fus it's. Fus Fuseni, different. you have not answered But the MC is See, still Fuseni, in office. Fuseni, oh, hold on. In my assembly, Fuseni, the Fuseni, MC is still Fuseni, in office. And uh, so for the other. Fuseni, you are, you are my big brother. So, I'm asking you a simple uh, question. Uh, uh, I'm saying that mm. property rate. Yeah. Business operation permit. Mm. Market tools. Mm. All other IGF that is collected. Is. This MMDC, are these MMDCs able to utilize the funds Johnny, and, and take and major policy and decisions and what, what when I'm they saying, have been told by the chief of staff not to? What I'm, what I'm saying is that last year, they approved of their budgets. They might, they were, they, with these budgets that we, we, it happens in the public sector, there were policy um, um, decisions that were taken. Right. There, there are financial implications of that. And that was approved last year. So now they are in the implementation phase for the 2021 um, um, academic year. So there is no case of uh, um, um, new policies actually coming in, unless, of course, for the nine months of the new year. Unless, of course, there are something that was not envisaged in, in, in the original uh, mm. last year when they were preparing their budgets. Okay. But they are now doing. We, we are not being fair to. Anything we are not being fair to. Uh, uh, I, 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 I concede. Uh, uh, I concede to that. But, but he but understands. Uh, let what me ask you. Let me ask you this, and I'll come to you. Let, let me ask you sure this one. This is, this is very so let's go. Let's go to Ejira. As is. Sorry. Let's go to Ejira. Okay. Do you realize that when the disruptions happen in Ejira, Kaka, mm -hmm. and the other person were killed, mm -hmm. the MC at the time, mm -hmm. Sally Fubamba, mm -hmm. he took his family to safety, fled. It took Simon Osei mm Mensah -hmm. to call the military to come, even though Sally, Sally Fubamba is the head of the Municipal Security Council. Do you, do you realize the fix you put the gentleman in? I, I am not too sure whether he was there when it happened or he was in Accra in the in the in the in the hearings when when he went to meet the committee. I heard that he was in a, in, in his testimony. He said he was in Accra or that left Accra. He fled. He is uh, the police commander uh, told us that he I'm took his family sure. to was safety. It, was he there when the when the when the um um, um that, that, the, that, the, the, the authentication that, that's that's, that's not my started. question. My question is that he, mm -hmm. Mr. Bamba. Mm -hmm. As MC, the president's mm. rep, mm. the president of the area, mm. is the head of the security council. Mm. If there, there had to be a curfew that must be imposed, mm -hmm. military that has to be brought in, mm -hmm. it was his call, not mm. the regional minister, Simon, or and, and, and call. And trust me. And he didn't take that call because he has been told not to take policy decisions. Oh, my. <laughs> Johnny. Johnny, for, for an MC to, to be able to make those things, he, 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 he relies on the technical expertise of the security forces within the assembly. The new sec comprises the head of police, right. and the head of, I think, fire service, Prisons, even everything else, yes. they are all part of it. So it is not the call of the, uh, definitely not just him what, what, who what, takes that decision. What, what, what are you saying? It is, it is not just him, only him who takes what, that what decision. Are you he's only he relies, he he relies he on the expertise of all of this. No, and he's advised and, to take that decision. As of now, yeah. as of now, today, the 13th of September, 2021, mm. we still have people in office you who have, are you acting have, as MMC. Fuseni, you have not and answered, that is not have, a stopping Fuseni, any decision from happening. Fuseni, you have not answered my question. I'm asking you a specific question about Ejira. Yeah. Yes. I'm saying that when the disruptions happened in Ejira, mm -hmm. it took Simon Osei Mensah, who is the regional security boss, and, and, to, and ask, to ask the military to move in. And Johnny, then for, aim and time. shoot. But I said, the man in charge of the municipal, the municipality, 
he did not take the decision. He took his family to safety. You said the man in charge. So it is not a, 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 an issue of him being approved or not approved. It, it just might be his work ethic. Just might be. I am not. I am not. I am. I am not in a position me. to. <laughs> but it is not as a as a result of him having been approved or not approved that that circumstances happened. I'm, he was still the MC and he had every right to chair the music, the music to take decisions that will forestall all of this. When they have been told to take policy decisions. When you say policy, when you say policy, maybe I'm, we should uh, ask the chief of staff to explain this is security, policy. Security decisions as to what happens within the municipal. I, I don't, I won't extend that to <laughs> policy like that because policy itself has to go to the general assembly, and I'm not sure that every security decision that is taken by the municipal or district assembly has to go to the general assembly. And I'm saying that whilst policies have to go to the general assembly, I'm, I am not sure that security I, and, decisions and, and, also, and I'm saying that, and all of that have I'm, to go through. That is why we have the music, which is different from the general and assembly. And I'm saying that when the assemblymen are elected, mm. they have to serve in committees like you do in parliament. Yes, Whether I know. they like it or not. I know. Some serve in two, three committees. I know. Whether they like it or not. That's, that's when they finish their committee meetings per Act 936, they have to come to the ex school, which is chaired by the mayor or MC. When they finish, they take it to the assembly. Now, when the assembly members decide on a policy or broach an idea of a policy and they take it to ESCO, on what strength of law is the MMDC taking it to the general assembly? Is he qualified to do that when the chief of staff says, don't take policy decisions? Per Act you see, you see. I am saying Article that when, when you mention more, when you mention the case of Edura, when you mention the case of Edura, the yeah, security issues, mm. once the music decides takes takes a decision, I I I I I, I stand to be corrected. But the exco members, it's, right. it's, the exco is headed by the MC. The MC, but the MC is the head of committee. MC is is also part of the decision making, and I can tell you, music comprises of uh, even the head of NADMO within the district or municipality. I it's know what the it. composition is. So when, when a decision is taken, yeah. it is it is it is taken. You are not answering my question. I'm not too sure that you are, you are security matters will have to go to General Assembly. It else at, at the national level, when security issues or uh, security matters are decided on by the president and his cabinet, he probably have to come to power. And you know you know how how comes are you that, suggesting that to me are you suggesting to me that for example if the MMDC wants to impose a curfew, mm. he will not seek counsel from the General Assembly. From the General Assembly? It, it, it's not very um, 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 easy also to convene a General Assembly meeting. Okay. In fact, the notice will have to go out uh, for, for a while. Everybody will have to notify. You have to know in advance. Okay. When, I, when I was MP and a member of the Assembly, we were given a, a less a month's notice. Because certainly people have their other things they're doing. <laughs> and it is not a full-time job like you going to parliament. Daddy. So you have to give any. So when a music or a dissect takes a decision, mm. you, you don't necessarily have to revert to the General Assembly and call a General Assembly at every time. Okay. I remember within this COVID, COVID issues, Okanko North was one of the um, um, hot, hot spots. The epicenter. Uh, right. and, and the music had to meet repetitively to be able to take and measures to forestall the spread of the of the virus, and we didn't need to revert to the to the general assembly for every decision. No, we didn't have to. Okay. And security or some emergency situation is taking the MC is there. But, but it, it happens. My, and, and my we, question we, is still we, standing: we, 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 that on what strength of law is the man or woman acting as the rep of the president able to carry the policy intentions of the assembly members from the committee? To the general assembly when he has been told specifically not and to my, take my, my, my response is that last year in 2020 the assembly had passed and accepted policy decisions to no, be today in today i'm saying today and if, that, that, that's, that's exactly year. what i'm saying no, 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 that's no, what i'm saying no, that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying that's that's last year no. last year are you by this when they did their budget when they did their budget you know you know unless unless of course i'll give you a chance last year i'm going to affect you but i'll give you a chance i'm saying last year last year my assembly the okay enough municipal assembly Fuseni, they approved the its budget Fuseni, and in its budget are Fuseni, policy decisions Fuseni, you have answered that part yes the subs subsequent question i'm asking you is this mm. that this year mm. since january unless mm. you want to tell me that the assembly members have not met 
to have they policy need... intentions to submit to the ESCO for ESCO to go and take it to the General Assembly. Mm. I'm saying that the uh, MMDCs who are acting have been told not to take policy decisions and certain financial decisions. On what strength of law, per Act 936, Article 240, 241, 242, 243, and, and, and Are they taking that policy decision to the Assembly, and, the General Johnny, Assembly? Johnny, the other aspect of this whole thing is that no, in the absence, even, even in please, the absence no, 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 of the MCs, Please answer my question. Even in the absence, please, absence of the MCODC. I beg you, DC, answer my question. Exactly, that's exactly what I'm okay, coming to. let's go. Even in the absence of MCA or DC, the coordinating director acts. The coordinating in fact, director in fact, is the secretary the, the to the coordinator, Assembly. The coordinating director presides over the process that goes into the, 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 the approval or, or the disapproval of the It is not the job of the coordinating director. He is the chief of public service. And he's a spending officer there. He is so what's, not what's, the what's, 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 what's the question. He is not I, the I, man. I, I, don't, I don't really get to the, the, the premise of your question. You but, know Act 936. You. I am, you I am know telling it. you. You I am know telling you that there is nothing impeding. There is nothing impeding the the, the 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 work of assemblies <laughs> across the country at this material moment. No, you are, one, you nothing are, impedes. You have them. not answered my question. Nothing impedes. I am saying that assembly members will meet. They will have a policy intention. They will take it to the ex school, which is headed by the MMDC, perhaps nine three six. Now, on what strength of law? And listen to my question again. On what strength of law? Is the MMDC taking that decision that is agreed by the assembly members to the General Assembly when he has been asked not to take a policy decision? That's the question yeah, I'm asking. That's, you. that's what I'm, I'm stretching as to what what do you what what do you have in mind when you say policy decision? It's on me. I didn't write the letter. Chief of Staff wrote it. Fremont wrote it. I didn't write it. The assemblies, to the best of my knowledge, today are, are, are still are still active. Any any service you want from the assembly today. It's, it's, it's really available. Yeah, what, yeah. what we are saying is it's that okay. the, process, the process is almost no, there. And within, within, he has not answered within, my within question. the next couple of days, we should, we should be there. Next couple of days. I like, I like your choice of days. <laughs> Fuseni has not answered my question. So now I'm asking, let me put the same question to you. The people have been asked not to take policy decisions. But assembly members must formulate policy, give it to ESCO to prune it, and then take it there. On what strength of law, because you also have sat with the General Assembly before, on what strength of law are they going to do that? You see, Fusini, you've had a very tough time trying to explain this issue. As is, it I is the making. You see, when it you mention my it name, is the then making, you give me a no, no, I mean, you don't. Know, I'm also forced. I'm also forced. When you invite me, oh, then, then I'm also forced. This is not fair, Fusini. I beg you. I beg you. That's what I'm saying. But you know me. So once once I mention you, we have been unfair to, Fuseni, to Mohammed. Let's see, be, it let's is be President Akufado who has kept you in this show this morning that he has failed to appoint MMDCs for the 264 assemblies for the nine months that he has been in office as president. And it is surprising for you to say that nothing is lacking at the, at the, at the, at the assemblies simply because we have acting MMDCs. I have told you even just by asking them to act, mm. they, that decision alone is unlawful. Go through Article 243. Yeah. Go through Act, uh, act uh, 936. Yeah. Nowhere, nowhere does that act of the Constitution contemplate anything like acting for MDCs. It's unlawful. Right from the word go, it's unlawful. Now, when you say that nothing is lacking at the assemblies because we have the coordinating directors and the we have spending the acting, officers, right? No, that's not fair. If you say, now you are aware. That the budget for 2022 will be presented to Parliament in November. Ah. Oh, national budget. No, Listen. No, don't invite me. National, national, national budget will come in. Presented to Parliament. I'll, 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 I'll give you two minutes. What I'm saying is that, <laughs> what I'm saying is that <laughs> in November, <laughs> we are going to present a budget to Parliament for approval. Okay. That would obviously take input from all the assemblies. Right. Mm. Now, they've been asked not to take policy decisions. Ah. And decisions bearing, oh, come on, that bears on finances. Ah. What policy decision would they make to inform our national budget? I've just given you two. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I'm saying, Alain, 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 I'm saying, Alain, Alain, I'm, Alain, go ahead. I, yes, from, I, I, I don't like your, No, no, your, he, your, he didn't, your, he didn't your, interject your, when you were speaking. As is, go ahead. Say what you want to say and stop uh, inviting me okay, in. Okay, as is, go ahead. How do I invite as you? As go ahead. How do you invite me in? As is, we don't have a lot of time. Please go ahead. So what I'm telling you is that for you to argue that the only thing that borders on policy is the budget of the assemblies, and that the budget for this year was passed last year, and that there's nothing that borders on policy again, is a very 
shallow understanding of what policy, policy is at the local level. The MMDCs are responsible for almost everything at the assembly. Mm -hmm. We have been an MP before. You were a member of the, of the assembly. What decision could be taken? Mm -hmm. Even just issuing a check to a supplier, that doesn't require the approval of the DC. Today, that cannot be done. And now, look, Johnny, you started your, 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 your question somewhere 29th of July. Right. The same general secretary of your party had indicated to all of us that a report on the vetting of the prospective MDCs right. had been submitted to the president and that he was going to announce those names within a week. That was somewhere 29th of, of July. No, 29th of July was when the vetting started. No, this comment by Mr. No, Boydou no, was, was not too no, long, it was no, not in July no, actually. No, I'm saying that mm, on 29th of July, okay. John Boydou told all of us that they had submitted a report to the president right. on the outcome of the vetting of the prospective MMDCs. That's right. That is a fact. If that report was submitted to him almost two months ago, what prevents the president? The president traveled. Oh, so you see? So you see? So I where, see what? You see, you see where we are talking about attitude of the president? But he that, traveled to go and bring you vaccines. <laughs> that's interesting. Almost two months. Just announce the names of the MMDCs you set up a committee make of your party members to go into the assemblies to vet them. They came to Accra for a second batch, mm. a second round of the vetting, mm. and submitted the report to you almost two months now. And you are unable to announce the president the says he's building months. consensus. End of July, no, no. September 30th. Oh, oh, what what, cons uh, what consensus again? He says he's building consensus, what consensus again? consultations, and making sure that you're getting the right oh, candidate. What Would you be happy if the best M MMDC is picked for me? Johnny, what consensus again after you have instituted a committee Mm. made up of your own party members to go and vet them at the local assembly level. They came to Accra for a second round vetting, submitted a detailed report to you for almost two months. You have failed to announce it. I, I, and you I tell am, us I you am. are consulting. <laughs> consulting on what basis and for what? What I'm saying is that John Boyd, sure. oh, for saying it, you had your time. John Boyd did what? Last, the one that you just talked about, on 26th of August, okay. he again mentioned that within a week, within one week, he was specific. One week after the president's travel, it's been more than it's, it's been more than two to three weeks now. No, so it's, it's been two weeks. It's not been three. So three. when someone says that within one week, but the president is this is the tour. general secretary it's, it's of the party the who has the who has the attention of the president who just that within a week, President Akufuado would announce the names. It's been more than two weeks now. That hasn't happened. Okay. And when we question you, you can't be candid with us. See, that's not fair. Okay, See, I'll, I'll give you. Let, let Bella, let, let's not keep the lady that waiting. That's not fair. Let's not keep a lady waiting. That's Bella, not fair. Bella, Bella, welcome. Bigger picture. Thank Just you so much. MMG. Okay, thank you. I, I hear let's you read some you. Let, Let's not keep Bella waiting. The first one is from Prince Henry Koforidia. He says, "Good morning, Johnny." Honorable Fuseni Issa should know that there is a difference between having a substantial MMDCE and an acting MMDCE. The differences are clear. There are certain decisions acting MMDCEs can take and some critical decisions that they can't take. And these are a retarded development uh, in our various assemblies. A government which can't appoint as MMDCE in their second term in office uh, on time is a failed government. Regards to Mago Elikem Kotoko and Honorable Fifi Kwete. Okay. A.U. Farouk from Tamale North says, good morning. Seriously, the living standards of the ordinary Ghanaian these days is harder. Uh, the president must fix the country now. We're suffering too much. Walanyo in Akwetia says, it tarries though, but welcoming news that MMDC's list will be out this month officially. And thank God that the district chief executive of Denchembo district in the person of Honorable Seth Ofusu Rikrang is maintained to continue or has been maintained to continue his work. Regards to Chairman Kesi, Eastern Regional Chairman of the NPP. Hmm. You would know even though the list is not out. Uh, good morning, Johnny. I have noticed that the NPP folks are always giving explanations to every single question asked them to confuse themselves. And in doing so, they think they're confusing Ghanaians. Ghanaians have gone beyond that now. Emmanuel from La Paz. Good morning, Johnny. I want to use your good platform to tell NAPCO officials to pay uh, the Ghana trainees, heal Ghana trainees, our five months allowance. We are suffering, please. God's way from Keta. Good morning, Johnny. The policy to construct the Millennium City Schools in order to end the school shift system in the AMA was solely formulated and implemented by the AMA. And this is a major policy decision. That's Numo from Accra. NDC should ignore the MPP's mischievous interpretation of ex-president Mohammed's do or die statements because that is how diabolical they are. They put up the same misbehavior when the late Dr. Kwabna, a J of NDC, made the, uh, made the statement, there are many ways of killing a cat. 
<laughs> they, are this innate, they are innate <laughs> hypocrites. A sanko from Santa Maria. Interesting. MMDC's appointment is long overdue. I'm 100% sure that they will get one of the best MMDCs, that we will get one of the best MMDCs in the history of this country. The delay is not decay. Okay. God bless our homeland, Ghana. That's Dr. Baba Zamo, master planner, junior okay. at Kintampo. I think that should be it. Uh, the final yeah. one. Uh, let's okay. Maybe. Let's read the final one. Good morning, Johnny and your panelists. Please kindly tell Annabelle Fusaini to keep quiet, oh. for he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> is this from the Lord? Uh, it is very unfortunate for such an honorable member to be throwing dust into people's eyes. As far as the explanation of Act 936 amended uh, to Act 940 is concerned, in fact, no spending officer can spend a penny without the prior approval from the chief executive. Johnny, in, the actual, in actual fact, if a president says MMDCs should not take any major policy decision, it means MMDCs should not take any decision that has financial and security implications against the government. In effect, the DCEs will now be dictated to the president, will now be dictated to by the president and not by the approval of the General Assembly. That's what we are from the West. That's about it, Johnny. Thank you, Bella. Always a pleasure to have you around here. Fuseni, let's wrap up. Our time is finished. I, uh, I, I, have, I have two quick points. Yes, boss. Assemblies are implementing what, whatever they had accepted and agreed to do um, in 2021. And this approval process happened in 2021. Okay. Secondly, I'm sure if we, we as a people mm. um, have, have actually gone the way that the president suggested, that we actually elected our MMDCs, um, we wouldn't be here talking about nominations. The president going promised through, us going that through all this, going through, our MMDCs going through, in going through all. So, so if Ali our Baba brothers Baba on the other side of the arm, somewhere now. if the, our brothers on the other side of the arm had actually helped the process, have actually uh, gone I'm by I'm the I'm word, you, you by the the word that they gave no, us, remember, remember that in the 20... 2016 manifesto, uh, they also promised that they were but, going to get MMDCs. They, they didn't win power. You won power. power. When you were promising yes, so, that we will vote so, for uh, MMDCs, you, see, you, you see, didn't tell us, you didn't tell us that process. we were going to have it on party. I am basis. sure that, Johnny, you will also be happy that we go, we, we, we build consensus and move forward as a nation. I hear you. Rather than, uh, we had a domestic parliament. I, if we had, we have probably gone through with it. Yes, but, well, take but, your one minute. That, that, that is, that, take your one minute. This is what it is. What we need to understand is that President Akufado, since the inception of the Fourth Republic, Republic mm. is the only president who has failed to nominate MMDCs for approval for almost nine months. It's on record that President Rawlings, President Kufo, President, president Mahama, by the yeah. end of the fifth month, had appointed. They are not their building MMCs. consensus. Which, which, which? Oh, would, which would so it's on record. Okay. That it's the worst in terms of the appointment of MMDCs, and we are, we are also saying that. We, because as, as, as a country, mm. we did not allow or agree to the election of as MMDCs. A party, as a party, mm -hmm. the you disappointed you, them. You were supposed you, you, you were supposed you, 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 you disappointed them. Did you go through the referendum? We, did you allow we, the we, EC to we, go through the, the referendum? Ah. Did you? Okay. Ah. <laughs> Take the thing through a, a referendum. Let it be passed or be rejected. But you, re re but you rejected it. You well, rejected the idea. What? Are, oh, of course, we did. Okay. We did. Well, we did. Thank you, Honourable Fuseni Issa is a former yeah. member of Parliament for the Okanakwe North Constituency, and also yeah. Mohamed yeah. Abdulaziz yeah. is the yeah. former yeah. member of Parliament for the yeah. Mion yeah. Constituencies. Yeah. Two of my big brothers have joined me, here, so 